I'm Chief Product Officer for Pay360. And I'm going to talk to you in this first session about the broader digital landscape. So the payment space is highly diverse, but it's also highly innovative. There's trends and solutions which can help our customers overcome challenges such as revenue collection, customer engagement, and digital adoption. My name is Wayne Campbell, and I welcome you to today's Pay360 Talks panel session on PCI DSS and security. PCI DSS and securing your payment infrastructure is one of the most important things you can do as a business. Version 4 will, though, offer flexibility and support for additional methodologies to achieve security. And what does that mean? We'll focus on that during the session and possibly in the Q&A. What does it mean then if I'm working from home? Have I now got to be um, have the QSA come to my home as part of a, 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 of a validation of, of our organization? I see a lot of people saying, well, I've got a cloud-based telephony provider. There is no compliance. You know, that, that is incorrect. They are responsible for the trans transmission. I think what we'll try and do is make it easy for folks to, for that other 50% that don't think they're going to tackle PCI DSS next year. Well, following on from that, uh, which is accessibility is important for our citizens and, and they've got various needs, both physical and mental. And so the, this opposes a challenge for card payment processors and the ability for us to take these payments against ensuring and maintaining compliance. And it's a very common myth um, that selecting a payment solution will automatically make you PCI DSS certified or compliant. It very much is a partnership made between the payment service provider and the merchant themselves. Hi, good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to the third session today around is the future digital and where we will look at open banking and the, the rise in mobile apps. So what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that in fact that device is a really good device through which to communicate and transact with your customers. Open banking is already absolutely transforming payments and VRP, which is the big excitement for next year, will take us even further. We're really excited by the possibilities of open banking and we're seeking to bring these solutions to our customers. Today's session, as you can see, is a focus on fraud and basically is the money um, you're paying out getting into the right hand. So it's a bit of a change of tack from what, what we've been running with today. You know, it's not as payments focused, but it's very, very pertinent and very uh, topical between 31 and 48 billion pounds is lost each year to fraud in the public sector. And that's 89% so of people were not aware of, of the program being in place. What are, what are we actually hearing in the marketplace today? Um, well, Brexit and, and, and COVID uh, have dri dri certainly driven consumer fear. Uh, this has obviously created new opportunities, uh, you know, for criminals. Lots of um, payments are paid out are your organisations to, you know, it could be businesses, could be individuals, but how confident are you that all of the money that you pay out actually ends up where it should and goes to the right place?